the GMath add-on for Google Drive lets you insert math equations, symbols, or pictures of graphs. All of these get inserted into your Google document as images, so they're not editable, but they are very, very helpful. So once you have the GMath add-on installed, you go to the add-ons menu, you select GMath, and you can either create a math expression or create a graph. In this video, we're going to create a math expression. When you click on that, a sidebar will open on the right side of your screen where you can enter the formula that you like in a particular formatting called latex. And we'll talk about latex a little bit later. But there are sample formulas down at the bottom that you can use to add in there. There's all kinds of sample symbols. Okay, so really, seriously, they've just added some like in the last few minutes because I was practicing this video and there was like six of them. And in the last few minutes, there's all of these extras over here. So, wow, that's great. So you can click on any of these to enter it into the box up at the top. So you'll see now the particular formatting that it has to have. You can preview it, and then you can insert it into your document. And again, when you insert it into your document, it inserts it as an image. So now that it's in your document, you can't go in and just edit it in here. If you want to change something about it, you need to, you need to go back to the math box uh, the math expressions box and do uh, and make a new one. So let's say I want to put some numbers in here. I can go ahead and edit this. I don't want it to be a x squared. I want it to be four x squared um, minus six x plus two. And now I preview that, and I can insert that one into my document. There it goes. It just took a little minute there. Probably going to give me two of them now. And notice that the original one is still there. So if I want to edit that, I want to get rid of that one. I just click on it and I can hit delete and the original one is gone. 